Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Discobot tutorial. In this video, we're going to be creating a way to do a profile command, and the profile command will go to the database, load up any information about that user, such as their XP, level when we add that, their items, and so on. Anything you want to have about the profile will be stored there. And then we'll be able to do a command like you see going on in the background, where you can do question mark profile and then the user, or if you leave it blank, it'll do it for yourself. And it'll go to the database and grab that profile. If it doesn't exist, it'll make it and it'll retrieve the data and you can display it in an embed. And then later on, we can add it to other things. So for example, we're gonna add an inventory later on at some point, and then we can add items to our inventory so that we know what items we have. And yeah, that's where we're heading. So I hope you guys look forward to the video. Let's get into it. So this video is gonna be split up into three steps. Step one, we'll be creating the database model for the profile. We'll be adding it to the database context and running the migration. Step two, we'll be setting up the service so that we can actually interact with the database to retrieve the profiles based on guild ID and Discord member ID. And then we'll also be adding it to dependency injection so we can use it in our commands. And then finally, step three, we'll be actually making the command or the two commands actually to grab profiles for either yourself or the other user. That'll be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is go to your models, just like we've got the items folder and the item model, make a profiles folder and a profile model. Inside here, make it inherit from entity so that we can use it in the database with a key ID. And then over here, we want to add some fields or some property. So I want to add a view long for the Discord ID, which is gonna be the person's profile ID. You can call it really whatever you want, but we're gonna call it Discord ID because it's their Discord ID. And then it's a get set. The next thing we're gonna need is a guild ID. And that's because if your user is in multiple servers where your bot is, we also want to store the guild ID. Now, technically you don't need this step depending on how you're using your guild, I mean your bot, sorry. If your bot is only in one server, then this isn't necessary. But there does come a problem when the bot is in multiple servers and you try and grab a user, but it's in a different server and it's just a bit messier. So I'd say it's safer to go with a guild ID too. So guild ID, get set. And then finally, just some of our random data we can store. We can store some XP. We know we're going to want to store some XP at some point, so let's do it now. Um, we're also going to want to store items, but I don't know how we want to do that just yet. We might want an actual inventory class to store a list of items, or maybe we just store the items directly in here. So we're going to skip that for now and do that in a future video. That's it for the profile class. Then what we need to do is we need to head over to the context for the, well, the RPG context. Just like how we have a DB set, which is a table of items, we want to have a DB set of profiles. Uh, so not DB context, it's the DB set of our new profile class. And we'll call it profiles like so. And that's actually it for the coding for setting up step one. We now just need to run the migration on the database so that we'll then create a profiles table with these fields in the database. So to do the migration, you'll need to open your git bash terminal or whatever you're gonna to use to do your migration command. I've gone and opened it in discobottutorial.bots. Here we are. And then this is the command we've done in the past. We did it when we actually did the initial create for the database. So we're doing the exact same command, but we've just changed initial create to be added profiles. You can see it on screen now, pause if you need to. I've gone over this before, I'm not gonna waste time. Once you run this command, it'll build. Once the build's done, it'll try and create the migration. Now this isn't actually running it on our database, it's just creating the migration file, which is just over here. So it's basically saying, you know, make a table for profiles with an ID and it's an int and it's nullable false and then Discord ID is a decimal, guild ID and so on and so forth, right? And it does all this. So we go over here and then now we have to actually run the update. So it's a simply changing, instead of migrations add, it's just database update, okay? Same command, but with database update instead. We then run this, it builds, and then once it's done, we won't really notice anything happen apart from it saying that it was successful, and that's good. That means that when we go ahead and write the services, we shouldn't have any problems interacting with the database. Let's go to step two. So over in services, I've made a new folder for profiles, just like we've got items, and I've made the profile service. I've just got the bare bones thing set up here, so we've just got an interface for the profile service, or the iProfile service, and then here we just inject the context and we can use it in our service functions. So what we're gonna do is we're only gonna need one method in here. It's gonna be a task because it's asynchronous. It's gonna return a profile and it's gonna be for getting or creating. So I'll say get or create profile async. And it's gonna need to take in two things. We need a ulong uh, called discord ID and a ulong guild ID, okay? And with those two bits of information, we can get the profile for the person, okay? Now we need to implement it over here. So here it is. And we're gonna go write it in a second. Okay, so you need to make sure the method is asynchronous because we're going to be doing some awaiting in here. The first thing we need to await is a query on the profiles table. So await context profiles. 
we want to get all the profiles where the guild ID matches the guild ID we want. So that will, at this point, have a query for all the profiles in our guild. But then from there, we need to filter it down to be the actual Discord ID. Now, yeah, there's different ways of writing this query. You could write both these conditions inside this first or default. I'm not sure if one's more efficient than the other. I think they both get compiled to the same thing. But regardless, we want the first one or default, which means null, basically. The first one or null where the Discord ID matches, okay? And that gives us the profile or null. It could be null. The profile will be null if it doesn't exist in our database, which will be the case the first time you request any particular person's profile. But if it's not null, it means we found it, here you go, you can return it. But then if it doesn't exist, we're gonna need to create it. So we say, all right, let's make a new profile. Um, obviously we've already defined the variable here, so that's why we don't have to save our profile. We just say profile. It's a new profile and on the profile, we want to set the Discord ID to be the Discord ID coming in and the Guild ID to be the same, the Guild ID coming in. We then add it to the database, but it's not actually added until we save changes. Uh, so we have to await save changes, I think. And then once we're done, it's in our database and then we, re we can return it safely knowing that it exists in the database. We return the profile here. So no matter what, we always give back a profile. It's either the one in the database that already existed or now it's one that has just been added to the database, okay? That's done, that's all we need for the services. I guess the final thing to note for the services is that we should actually go ahead and go to the startup and we should add it just like we've got the uh, item service over here. We should add another service. The I profile service, profile service, okay. And one other thing actually, I, yeah, I need to fix the namespace over here, services, profiles, okay, like so. That will actually end up breaking if we go back over here. We need to import the namespace, profiles, okay. Now we're done with that. That's step two, let's move on to step three. So for step three, I'm gonna start off by changing RPG commands, because to be honest, we're gonna have so many RPG related commands, this file will get huge. Let's split them up a bit. So, so far, all we've got in here are item commands. So why don't we call it item commands? Let's actually just rename the file or the class to be item commands, which actually renames the file too. Uh, this is the item service. And to be honest, everything else here is fine, right? We've got the item here, the item commands. We go over to the bot and you notice over here, we have fun, item and team commands, okay? We're gonna want some profile commands because there might be more to do than just uh, getting the profile, we might do other stuff, right? So let's just make a profile commands class. Make sure we go here and call it profile commands, like here. We don't wanna inject the item service, at least not now, we just wanna inject the profile service. So let's go for the I profile service, profile service, okay. And then it's the same over here, just the underscore profile service, okay. And then to be honest, we don't wanna do any of this. Let's just get rid of all this code. So now we're ready to go to create, oh no, we're not, we've done something wrong here. We need to change this type to be the iProfile service. Now it's happy, let's create the logic for getting the profile and displaying it in an embed. Okay, so I've made a method over here to get a profile to display async. Currently it has no logic in, it's just there for the sake of it. It takes in the command context from the command and then a member ID for who we're getting. Because otherwise these two command methods would both have basically the exact same logic copy and pasted. It makes sense to abstract it, oh, sorry, not abstract, to extract it to a function. So this is where the logic's gonna be. So these two uh, methods, the first one is, uh, this one gets called when we just do question mark profile with nothing after. And this one gets called when we do question mark profile and then a member. That could be either the member's ID or tagging them or their name. It all works, D Sharp handles it for us. Just when you mention a user in any way, shape or form, it'll call it this way and give us that member, okay? Then over here, we pass in the member's ID. Whereas if we don't specify someone, it gives them our ID, the context member ID. So both these two cases just pass it down into this function. This is where the logic is gonna be for actually getting the profile and displaying it. So the first thing to do is grab the profile. So we'll say, you know, await profile service, go get us or create the profile. Let's uh, add configure await false to this. Okay, so we get the profile. Now we know that profile can't be null because uh, if it is null in the database, then we actually just get back a new profile made. So we're pretty confident we don't have to do a null check here. You always could if you really want to, but I'm not gonna bother. And then for the profile embed, we want to set the title to be the person's name or their display name. Uh, but we actually also want to get their icon. So over here, we'll make a var uh, member. And I'm actually gonna, instead of using var, I'll use discord member, okay? And that's gonna be equal to this snippet here. So we'll say the member is uh, context.guild.members with that ID, it gets us their member. And then we want to display their display name as well as their profile. So we'll say the uh, thumbnail URL will be equal to the members avatar URL. 
So now we've got this embed. We also want to add a field for their XP. So we'll just say profile embed dot add field for, uh, we'll, we'll just call it XP. And then the actual value will be the profile that we've loaded from the database dot XP, but we need it to string because it's uh, not a string by default. Okay. And finally, we need to actually just send the embed somewhere. So away context dot channel dot send message async. Okay. And the embed is going to be the profile embed. There we go. And configure await false. So here we have it. We have a, uh, a command that gets called from these two places where it takes in the member we want to get. We go grab them from the database. We then grab their member. We put their profile, their avatar URL. This is stuff we don't need to store in the database because there's no point. We can just grab it from Discord. Um, whereas the XP is to do with us and not Discord. It's our specific stuff. So that's why we get it from the profile, which we've loaded from the database. Okay, let's go give it a go. But of course, first I actually have to remember to go add it to the command registering. So this is the uh, profile command. Now we'll actually try it again. I don't think there's anything else I've forgotten to do. That was the one thing. So if we head over to Discord, so let's go try out the profile. So we do question mark profile like so. And it loads my profile, cool. I'm gonna do question mark profile at disco bot, oops, space, at disco bot tutorial, tutorial bot, whatever. Or question mark profile at dapper mickey. And just to prove this also works, if I do profile and then I go grab my Discord ID and paste that, it should also work too. It gets my profile, so you can do it however you want. You grab our profiles, you grab our XP, which is zero right now. There's no way to gain XP. We display our profile pictures. That all works just fine. Okay, and yeah, we can expand from here. We can do whatever we want. We can actually go and display someone's inventory on here, or maybe we'll add a reaction that when you click the reaction, we actually show them their inventory or something, you know? We could do plenty of cool things with this. I want you guys to give me the ideas down below. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want access to the code, it's down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and goodbye. But of course, this video wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for my patrons, so with special thanks to Josh Folsom, Bird or Die, Dustin Miller, Francisco Diaz, Rack, Eros Letter, Heidi Zorko, Rene, and Remy Baldwin. If anyone else is able to help support the channel monetarily, link to my patrons down below. If not, there are also links to other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. If you could help me out by following on any of those, it'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.